earthquake. We must hurry. Damn it! That ship's about to disintegrate. Hide in the hollow on the other side. Go!
Geralt. So unfortunate. I'd hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. I've heard enough of your bullshit. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Keep me waiting.
Yeah, I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. Can I get you more of that hooch you praised so high yesterday? Nah, uh, gotta go. Promised I'd be at the huntsman's cottage at the crack of dawn. Oh, aye, that's right, rabbit hunting. Mm hmm. Old man always had a soft spot for people. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace. Good nature, like him. You just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him, I've always said I'm a count. True, you have always said so. <laughs> Just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well, when we finally leave this God's forsaken dunghole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. Got plans for all these lands and titles? I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? Then you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion. My dear friend and companion, why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla, known also as Calanetta. Your heart, mate, too. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation, and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a count. No need for the count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. Recovered, mostly even started singing again. Her voice is a little lower pitched, gravelly. Actually, sounds a little better. Thanks for helping back then, Geralt. Meant a lot, really. What are friends for? Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss, even. A bit from you, mostly from me. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs, spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi, <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Hunt Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if. As you will. You're always welcome. for trouble. She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. He 
you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A Royal Griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morhen. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come. We were supposed to train today. Uh huh? Tomorrow at sunup then. Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Hmm. there. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! Faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Mm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Witcher's trick for tough winners. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Pelagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. How do you even know about that? 
<laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had to wait till now to remind me. You've put on some weight since Kaer Morhen. Should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. Oh, that pendulum was a nightmare. How can I forget? Those months at Care Morn. Passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You could have told me, warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. I wanted to make every minute count. So, back at the nest, I was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time, a lot more time. You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great. She even know? No. And I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. I traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Kermorhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you. You never know. Could be useful there too.
the Third Northern War ended, the invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Ymir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities, from her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. 